Hey there, Ryan here, and I'm going to show you how to build a simple task list in Google Sheets that looks nice, is easy to set up and use, and is great for prioritizing your tasks and keeping track of all your deadlines. Because sometimes all you need is just a simple tool that's hassle-free, looks nice, and just works. It just works. Now, although it's a pretty quick build, if you don't have time to build it, you can always get a copy via the link in the description. That being said, Let's get to it. First, we're gonna set up the general worksheet structure so that everything looks nice in the end. Use your mouse to select columns F through Z, then right click and select delete. Then click in this box, which is called the name box. Type in one through 1000 and press enter. Right click on the row headers, select resize rows, set the size to 30, and click OK. Also, set the horizontal alignment to left and change the vertical alignment to middle. Next, select column A, right click, resize column, set the size to 200, click OK, select column B, right click, resize column, set the size to 350, click OK. Select columns C and D, right click, resize columns, set the size to 150, click OK. Select column E, right click, resize column, set the size to 75, and click OK. Then select cell A1 and type in task, then notes, priority, due date, and status. Now select row 1, bold the font, click the fill color button, and select light blue 3. From here, go ahead and enter a few sample tasks and dates. Once you have, the next step is to format the dates to look the way that you want them to. Click in the name box, type in D2 through D1000, and press enter. Then click the More Formats button, which is right here, and select Custom Date and Time. You can either scroll down and select a date format that you like, or you can build your own. To build your own, clear everything in the box on top, then use the down arrow to add in the date components that you want. Personally, I like to add the month, a space, the day, comma, space, and the full year. Once you're done, click apply. Awesome. Next, we will create the drop-down list for the priority column. Click in the name box, type in C2 through C1000, and press enter. Go to data, data validation, click add rule, Select drop down for the criteria, then for the options below, enter low, medium, and high. Awesome. Once you're done with that, click advanced options and select the display style that you want to use. Personally, I like the plain text style because I think it looks the cleanest. After that, click done, close the data validation window, and add a priority to all of your sample tasks like so. Now let's add some checkboxes to the status column. Click in the name box, type in E2 through E1000, and press enter. Then go to insert, checkbox. Now select all of column E and change the horizontal alignment to center. Fantastic, just two more things and we're done. First, let's add some conditional formatting that's going to gray out any tasks that you check off your list. To do this, click in the name box, type in A2 through D1000, and press enter. Then, go to Format, Conditional Formatting. Under Format Cells If, select Custom Formula Is. For the formula, enter equals dollar sign E2, then under formatting style, 
set the fill color to none, change the font color to gray, then click done and close the window. Now, whenever you check off a task, it's automatically grayed out. All right, just one more thing, freezing the top row. Go to view, freeze, one row. Now, whenever you scroll, your headings will always be visible. How awesome is that? Before you go, here's one extra tip that's going to help you sort and organize your tasks. You can add a filter that allows you to sort and filter your tasks by priority or due date, or even in alphabetical order by task name. To add the filter, click in the name box, type in A through E, and press enter. Then go to data, create a filter. This adds filter buttons that you can now use to easily sort and order your tasks by any of the columns with just a few clicks. Now, if you want even deeper insights into your task list, I recommend you watch my follow-up video, which shows you how to create a dashboard that summarizes your overall progress all in one place. It's really, really awesome, so I encourage you to check it out. Aside from that, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon in the next Spreadsheet Life video.